Here's an update to the Israeli and Palestinian conflict. It'll leave a worse taste in your mouth than realizing George Washington used slave teeth to fill his dentures. Originally, I was not going to do a video because my face is all beaten up, but alas, here we are. Share this to anyone who needs to know what is going on in the conflict. To provide a Super Saiyan quick background, Hamas is the government in the Palestinian territories in Gaza now. Now, the other day, they waged an absolute war against the Israeli state, both against civilians and the military. This happened both at sea, air, and land. They actually paraglided into music festivals where they had unalived civilians and done really bad things to them that I can't repeat on this app. At this point, you might be wondering, what is the sweet and salty sacrilegious sack of hell that is going on? How did they get the weapons to be able to do this? Now, Iran said, hold my non-alcoholic refreshment, son. They gave weapons to Hezbollah, which gave the weapons to Hamas. Now, because the United States doesn't like Iran, and also there were American hostages that were involved, the U.S. might go to war with Iran over the situation. This is where we get to the super uncomfortable part, which is why are the Palestinians operating at the vicious capacity that they are? And also, what do we morally think about this? Please listen to the full video because I don't want my stance to be misinterpreted. So, Benjamin Netanyahu, in a bid to try to curb corruption charges, had created the most right-wing government in the country's history. And that's a big deal. Because not only is he trying to weaken the legal system that is going to try to put him in prison, but he has also platformed himself on trying to annex the entire territory of the Palestinian areas. The Israeli government has stolen so much Palestinian land that this is all that is currently left. They are quite literally dissolving Palestinian land like a Plan B pill dissolves. Well, I'm not going to finish that. So here's where we get to the really uncomfortable part. So the Israeli government is effectively ethnically cleansing the Palestinians. On the other hand, Hamas has taken over 150 hostages, including women and children. I'm also going to get in trouble for saying this, but they're also raping and killing numerous individuals, particularly those who were at the festival. Yes, I understand the Israelis were doing the same thing at different periods of time as well. In addition to all the human rights abuses against individuals like innocent children, what Hamas is failing to do is understand the long-term implications of what they're doing. Hamas might receive temporary short-term gains, but in the long run, this is going to lead to a greater annexation of Palestinian land and likely the deaths of generations to come. Think about it. Israel's far-right government is looking to take more territory and is going to use this as a reason to launch military outposts that will be annexed and given to settlers. Any remaining bits of public opinion that the Palestinians had received will likely be lost as a result of this. Hamas had effectively given Israel permission to wage an ethnic cleansing against more Palestinians.